Welcome to CES 2022 Zigajo review coverage. Up next, we have Asus with the craziest tablet design that I have seen so far. They might actually make good on the promise of foldable tablets. Hi, welcome to Zigajo review. Asus has announced the Asus has announced a 17-inch OLED foldable tablet. And this product is actually poised to come out this year, later this year. We don't have pricing for it yet, but something tells me that it's going to be an expensive product. The name of it is going to be the Asus ZenBook 17 Fold. And of course, in the name it tells you exactly what to expect. As Asus says, this is going to be the world's first 17.3 inch foldable OLED laptop. And it looks like the laptop is going to have four form factors. So you're gonna have, as you can see in the images, when it's all the way closed, when it's on laptop mode, when it's uh, folding half, when it's completely unfolded, um, you're gonna have two ways to put the screen. And it is going to come with a Bluetooth keyboard. So if you don't want to use the virtual keyboard that is going to come on the device once it's folded, you can use the keyboard separately, which of course is going to give you a better experience. When it's folded in half or in laptop mode, you can use it as a 12 and a half inch laptop with full HD resolution. If you want to use the screen completely open, then that's when you can make use of the Bluetooth keyboard. That Bluetooth keyboard also attaches at the bottom of the screen. So when you have it open like this, you don't want to have that keyboard separate away from the screen. You can have it sitting on top of it. When the device is fully open, it's going to measure 17.3 inches. It is going to have a four by three aspect ratio. It's going to have a resolution of 2560 by 1920, a million to one contrast ratio, 100% DCI-P3 color gamut, and 0.2 millisecond response time on a 90 hertz refresh rate screen. The display is going to be Pantone validated and is going to meet the VESA Display HDR500 True Black standard. It will also support Dolby Vision. This is the reason why I am telling you that this device will not be a cheap device to get. The ZenBook 17 Fold is going to have a 75 watt hour capacity battery, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2 connectivity, Dolby Atmos quad speaker system, a one terabyte NVMe M.2 SSD. The only issue that I see here is that the device is going to have one Thunderbolt 4 USB-C port, which means that you are going to be limited to the things that you can connect to this device. Of course, this is in a device that is going to allow you to have a lot of connectivity. It is, I'm assuming, mostly an experiment by Asus to see how people um, respond to something like this, how many people buy something like this. And of course, there are uh, some other things that come to mind, right? One, we have durability of the device. We know that those OLED screens that are foldable, just like on uh, the Galaxy devices, is very, very fragile. So if you're carrying this device around and you're gonna be folding it and unfolding it a bunch of times, my concern is what happens when you drop it or if you drop it, how easy is for that screen to get damaged? How careful do you have to be if you do use that virtual screen at the bottom of the screen when you're type typing on it? And you know, like how well is it going to respond to pecking on it? Like if you're one of those people who uses their nail to, to type or the top of their finger to type and not the pads of their finger to type. All these questions obviously come to mind with a device side, it most likely is going to be very, very expensive to have. So we still have some questions about the device. This is something that's supposed to come out mid-year, so sometime towards the end of the year. And then we'll have pricing and more information on how this thing works. But you cannot take away that cool factor of the device and the look of the device. And finally, as having um, one of these 
tablets or laptops that fold in ways that can make it very, very portable and easy to use. Concerns, of course, are still out there and mostly because this is a new product and a new type of device that we haven't had around yet. I know there was one uh, by Lenovo, I think that wasn't the greatest thing ever and it was crazily expensive. And I think that came out like a year or two ago. So I guess we'll see how the um, technology has advanced in that time. What do you think about this foldable device from ASOS? Is this something that you will be willing to get? Are you concerned about the durability of the laptop? Let me know in the description section or comment section, actually. <laughs> That's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have videos. And thank you very much for watching.